It's great. First thing I want you guys to comment, what movie is that quote from? What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. I just watched the brand new documentary, Apollo 11, aka the perfect companion piece to First Man, the film that came out last year. I really enjoyed this movie. We are going to talk about it today. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you had a chance to see this? It finally arrived at a theater close to me. Took me a few days. I finally saw it and I'm so happy I did. If you like documentaries, let me know in the comments down below what's the best one you have watched this year. I'm going to make an effort to watch more than I did last year because I've had a few comments. Austin, you don't watch enough documentaries and you know what? You guys are right. That's what we're going to do. But today we are talking about Apollo 11 and let's get into it. So this film is a look at the Apollo 11 mission to land on the moon led by Commander Neil Armstrong and pilots Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. And that's exactly what this film is. I didn't know what to anticipate with the route that this film was going to take. I thought there would be a voiceover. There wasn't. I thought there would be interviews where people are talking about what happened. There wasn't. This is literally a look into the life of the people that were in this situation with no commentary, no voiceover, nothing telling the audience, oh, here is what's happening, and clearly this. No, it's up to you to figure it out. It is very simple, but I love how the documentary sticks to that simplicity and edits all of this Footage that was completely archived and now beautifully color corrected and obviously the quality was majorly enhanced for this film. And I have read that they took a few shots from other launches here and there so it's not entirely technically Apollo 11's launch and whatnot, but you know what? It all came together in such a way that made this documentary the perfect cinematic watch in 2019 if you want to watch a documentary on the big screen. I think Apollo 11 is one of the coolest documentaries I have ever seen on the big screen just because of the visuals alone. I said out loud multiple times, oh my goodness, and what a shot and wow! Mostly because I was the only person in the theater. That is a shame, but it was nice to be in the theater by myself where I could sit back, kick my feet up and go, oh my goodness, these are some of the most gorgeous shots. And here's the thing though, looking into this documentary, it's not like they went out and took cameras in 2019, they had the nice 4K high quality cameras. No, this is all footage from that time period, from 1969 and earlier. My goodness, guys, whoever did the cinematography, and I know there were multiple people involved, kudos to you. I know you're probably old now, maybe dead, but kudos to everyone involved with getting this footage in the first place, gathering it all, I'm sure, many years later, and coming together to create a documentary based around this, and we've seen plenty Plenty of documentaries and movies based around the moon landing. This is probably the most true piece of filmmaking I've ever seen about the situation because once again, it's not people sitting around talking about it. It's the situation. It's everything happening in real time from beginning to the launch to what they do up there to them arriving back to Earth. Not a spoiler because it's a documentary. But it's true, and kudos to director Todd Miller for gathering all of this footage together, and I also want to give a major shout out to the people involved with editing all of this footage together, whether it's syncing the audio with the visuals, bringing everything to light on the big screen. I'm sure the color correction was already done to this footage, but if they went in and tweaked it even further, some of the shots of the rocket just sitting there and it actually launching and the sunrises and just the atmosphere of the entire film was so true to form. And this movie, as crazy as it is to think about, and I've seen multiple people say this, I'm like, oh, really? This movie makes me like First Man even more than I already did. I think it's one of the more underappreciated films of last year. I've watched it twice. I want to go back and watch it again, even though the movie is slightly long, and I have the same critique with this film. It is slightly slow at times and slightly long for something that is only 90 minutes long. I was sitting there at times going, all right, all of this technical stuff, I know it's important to me. It's just mumbo jumbo, them giving the analytics and going in detail. They fleshed a lot of that out in the actual documentary, which some are going to love for me. I was just like, can we speed it up and go a little bit faster? But yeah, it made me appreciate Damien Chazelle's use of film grain in First Man, the way that Neil Armstrong was portrayed, the casting of Buzz Aldrin. Come on, guys, you can't tell me he doesn't look like Buzz Aldrin, but Buzz Aldrin acted in this film like he did in First Man. It just made me appreciate that film more, but to see the true story of the true heroes, and I know First Man was a retelling, but this is the actual situation. These people did, really at the time, the impossible and landed 
on the moon and this is the documentary for you if you want to see what actually happens. See the footage, all of the footage on the moon. Sometimes you get the still images and they're going right after another, but you know what? They didn't have the technology back then to give us nice video footage of every single thing happening and the way that they weave that together. Once again, the editing in this film is superb. Some of the best editing I have seen in quite a while. So overall guys, great documentary, really cool cinematic experience. I'm going to give Apollo 11 an 83%, one of the better movies I have seen this year. It may not end up being my favorite of 2019, but I have to respect the filmmaking here because it was superb. You guys are the absolute best. Be sure to get down in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tomorrow is us. The brand new Jordan Peele film. And as always, Friday we've got Doom Patrol and Netflix. Saturday is Shazam. And then Sunday, possibly a ranking of all seven DCEU movies. Are there eight now? Seven or eight? I don't know. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will catch you very soon.